Okay, in this video I just want to talk about conservative vector fields. Just give a quick definition um, and talk about a couple things. So, um, we say a vector field F is a conservative vector field if it's the gradient of some scalar function. So, what that means is there's some scalar function F that when we take the partial derivative um, with respect to x, y, and z um, of that function, and look at it then as being a vector function. It says if there exists a scalar function so that that happens, we say that capital F is a um, conservative vector field. This little function F is what's called a potential function. So for example, real quick, suppose we have the uh, vector field given by this function here. Um, so 2y plus 8xy cubed times i plus 2x plus 12x squared y squared j. Um, and maybe we want to know if this vector field is conservative. Well, one thing, if you could simply find a scalar function, hey, I've got a little scalar function here. So little f is going to be 2xy plus 4x squared y cubed. Let's make a couple observations here. Notice if we take the gradient of this function, again, which is the partial with respect to x, the partial uh, with respect to y. Notice if we take the partial with respect to x, if we take the derivative of 2xy, we'll simply get 2y. And then if we take the derivative of 4x squared y cubed with respect to x, we'll get 8x y cubed. And then likewise, if we take the partial with respect to y, um, we'll simply get, it looks like, 2x. And then if we take the partial with respect to y, um, again, treating the x's like constants now, uh, the 3 will come out, we'll get 12x squared, y squared. And notice if we rewrite this, hey, we could rewrite this as this original vector field, um, just with the, the different notation. So in fact it does say that um, capital F is a conservative vector field because we were able to produce a function um, whose partial derivatives were basically gave you the, the, uh, the vector field back. Okay, so kind of a couple common questions here, and I assume if you're watching this video, you probably want to see one of these three things. So um, in another video, I'm going to show uh, that a, a vector field on R2 is conservative. So I'll either show it is conservative or it's not conservative. Sorry, everything got a little covered up here. Um, if you want to see a video showing a vector field on R3 is conservative, it's going to be a little more tedious. We have to use what's called the curl. Um, you can click over here. And assuming that a potential function does exist, um, and you want to see how to find a potential function, click down here. So again, a lot of times, you know, there'll be a test to show that, hey, in fact, this is a conservative vector field. That does mean that a potential function exists. exists. So one question is going to be, how do you produce this function in the first place? Because finding a potential function is very useful, it ties into the fundamental theorem of line integrals. So um, finding this potential will be will be handy. All right. So um, just again, just a quick little definition in this. Feel free to take a look at any one of those three, and um, I hope those will help you out.